What is up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jonathan Tamez and today's video I'm bringing you what's in my camera bag 2022. A lot of YouTubers, it's a very popular video amongst a lot of YouTubers, a lot of photographers, a lot of videographers, people that love cameras in general. They always upload a video of what's in my camera bag. So today I'm bringing you a video of what's in my camera bag 2022. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about everything that's in my camera bag. I have a lot of equipment, over $20,000 worth of equipment inside my camera bag. It is very heavy when I store everything in there and pack everything in there. It's almost about 100 pounds or even over 100 pounds. So let's get into it. This is my camera bag. I got a Manfrotto Cinema Balance camera bag. I spent over $300 on this camera bag. This camera bag right here holds all my equipment. It's very versatile. I mainly bought it so it could store my gimbal. So that was the main thing of being a videographer when I'm on my journey, when I'm doing my events, is I wanna make sure my gimbal is gonna be secured and I can take it along with me. Because before I used to have the Ronin S, and as you can tell, the Ronin S has a big old block thing. I used to not even worry about that. I used to just stuff the Ronin S in my camera bag, whatever camera bag I had at the time. But now I got the RS2, an upgrade. So it's very compact, very light, and it fits in here perfect. But let's get right into it. Let's open it up and show you how it looks. So as we open it, we're gonna have my video my my video mic pro plus. This is very good. Cost me three hundred dollars. Then we got my Canon R with my eighty five millimeter. And we got my other Canon R body with a 15 to 35 wide angle on this body. Having two cameras, two bodies is so clutch. Right now I have three. I'm filming on the Rebel SL2. But two cameras is very clutch. So if you can't afford it, if you can't invest in one, make sure you have two cameras so you can shoot video and photo, or you can have two angles of video at the same time. Very key, looks more professional and it helps you develop a high quality video. Right here, I got my 70 to 200 RF lens. This right here is a beast. Love this lens, this is the F4. Then we got my headphones. I wasn't really into the headphones and monitoring my audio, but now I like to monitor my audio, making sure it sounds crisp, making sure I'm doing all those extra extra steps to get the high quality video. And, and production and video and your events, it's a lot. The audio, the lighting, the equipment, the video, the settings, everything plays a role on to perform and deliver a high quality video. Then next to my headphones, I got my Ninja, Automos Ninja monitor. This is very clutch. I wanna get another one. This is also ex an extended recorder as well so I'm recording on this I got my memory card in the back from Automos then I got the Automos uh, battery then we got my drone I got the Mavic Air 2 this is my first drone my only drone I love this thing this is so clutch like I said it helps deliver a nice high quality video adding a nice view a nice clip from the top showing the location I love using my drone for the very first clip my very first clip is establishing the location and also maybe ending with location or when I'm switching location boom transition clip with the drone so this is very nice a very good investment I suggest you invest in one of these if you're gonna do photography or videography and take this seriously because you can do some nice big photography uh, shots as well. But this is my Mavic Air 2. Then right next to it, I have my GoPro 7, another action camera, just to have on the go, just to have on the on the, on the the way, next to my other uh, action camera. GoPro and DJI, you can never have too many cameras, you can never have too many angles. These are very clutch if you don't wanna get your equipment damaged or your equipment wet for those nice action shots. 
Then in this pocket right here, I got all my accessories to set up my handheld rig. You'll see a clip of it when it's all set up on my Canon R. So here it is. It's exactly how my handheld rig looks when it's all set up. It is a hassle, so I intend to set this up before I leave my house. I do not set it up when I'm on location or when I'm at the event. I don't like doing it. Like I said, it's a lot of pieces. I don't like being under that unnecessary pressure of trying to get it on in time, missing a, a screw, you know what I'm saying? So I wake up extra early and I make sure this is all set up before I leave the house. And when I leave the event, I disassemble it and put it in my bag. Same thing with my stabilizer. I have two cameras, so I keep this at the ready. Then I also have my other Canon R on the stabilizer and I make sure the stabilizer is perfect. It's balanced correctly and it's ready to go when I leave the house. So when I get to the event, I open up my door, I got my handheld rig set up, and I got my stabilizer Canon R rig set up, and it's ready to go, and I'm ready to shoot. I'm ready to get some, some shots. So this is what it is. This is how it looks when my handheld rig is all set up. Let me know in the comments section down below if you want a special video or a separate video of my handheld rig set up. What am I using? What parts am I using? What attachments I bought? So let me know if you need it, if you want a video of that. Then I got batteries for my Canon R and I got batteries for my drone. For my drone, I got the Fly More Pack. So I got three batteries in total. So I got them in here. Then I also got batteries, extra batteries for my Automos Ninja monitor right here. I got four of those. And I also got my microphone, my wireless microphone, Rode, Rode my, I also got my Rode Wireless Microphone Plus right here with the Rode Lavier mic as well connected. So I keep that in there as well. So having this wireless microphone is also a big impact in the production and the quality of the video. Then we got these pockets right here. Got my Manfrotto little tripod with my Loom Cube panel light. This is clutch, always comes in handy. Invest in one of these. Then also in this pocket, I got all my tools I need, little Allen wrenches, and also little tools I need for my Ronin S, because I got the Pro package with my Ronin S2. So I have the, the Raven, um, and I have all the cables as well, so this is my DJI S2 packet. Then I got this right here. This is for all my SD cards. This is very clutch. When you're shooting, make sure you have multiple SD cards on deck. So make sure you have a few SD cards. And also I got filters, filters for my camera. I have two of them. This is my Peter McKinnon edition. Can't go wrong, this is for my 15 to 35 millimeter. Then hard drives, you already know about hard drives. These are all filled up already, got a five terabyte, two terabytes each, so. Then we got this pocket right here. This holds my tripod and my Ronin S. So this is very, like I said, this backpack, In the same, in the same compartment as well as where my laptop goes. This goes in there and this goes in there plus my laptop. I try not to put it all in there at once. I always make sure I try not to pack this in there, but if I have to and I don't have room to carry it, I pack it in there. But as you can see, this carries everything. My Ronin S2, my laptop, my tripod. Look at this tripod head and all my cameras. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comment section below. And I love to answer all you guys' questions. Thank you for watching What's in My Camera Bag 2022. I'm Jonathan Tamez and I'm out.